I think I'd like to just basically buy this table. <laughs> okay. If I could. I mean. Bloggy switch. Good morning, how are you? I'm really good, how are you? <laughs> good, thanks. Because it's a gorgeous day. It is nice and cool. Wow. It's beautiful. And it's not raining. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, what's so good about his hat? Oh, Colorful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want to buy it once in the aquarium? Uh, not at this time. My my uh, brothers used to keep them. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. All right, well, send them our way. <laughs> Will do. It's a nice one. You're a hat guy, huh? I do like hats. How much on the Nike hat? It's a dollar. Dollar deal. There you go. Have Thank a you good so one. much. You too. Are you guys open? Okay. Yeah, you can come in. Okay, thank how you. Are you. Good. How how are you today? Yeah. All right, I gotta write them all down. Okay. Everybody gets something different. I think I owe you twelve total. Let's see. Yeah. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is that all the video game stuff you have? You know? Do I? That, that's all yeah. the game. Okay. You want a bag? Yeah. Uh, sure. If you don't mind, that'd be great. Yes, you can carry all this. <laughs> I used that garment one time. Looks like it's in good shape. One time to go to Florida it with, and then I got a phone that I could have. Yeah. The GPS. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. You too. Good morning. It's okay, puppies. It's okay. I think I'm just gonna buy this whole table. I think I'd like to just basically buy this table. <laughs> okay. If I could, I mean. Okay. Not. I'm not, I'm not actually interested in these, but okay. like everything else. Okay, I mean, else. and if you offer less for those, that's fine. Okay. I don't care. That's... Like, what would the table take, you think? 
Mm. Let's take these out. Of the okay. So there's one of these is empty because they're all in here. Gotcha. Makes sense. Okay. So all that for six. Let me see what it's 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, um, okay, so 26, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 30, so 56, 66, you want 50 for the whole table? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to add a few things to it, too. <laughs> okay. But, um, okay. Let's put... I'll go ahead and pay you the 50, okay. just so we're okay. even there. And then I'll start putting... Um, Thanks so much. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh-huh. I love old train stuff. You don't see it a lot anymore. And these old micro machines, you don't see those. Oh, absolutely. Especially in the package like that. That's cool. Well, and we have. We just didn't have time to do it. I've got like the Star Wars stuff and different things oh, really? that we're going to get around to yeah. eventually. I love old toys. It's okay if I just make a small pile. Yeah, go ahead. I haven't brought out the rest of my Coke stuff, so you don't want to, if you want to put it okay. there, so you don't sure. Okay. And those, I think, if I re those should be like the whole package of those things. Okay. So three bucks a package. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's buy some cool stuff. I went ahead and cleared that table too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How much are your jackets? Um, two bucks. Two bucks each. The one winter, the Harvey like winter one. This one? That one five. Okay. And then the big perka thing. This one, probably eight. Sure. I think it might be good. Okay. I'll leave you alone. No, that's... <laughs> I wanted to... I've been trying to get my car to for the longest time. <laughs> Can't get through that. I said two, right? 34, 36, 38, 42. 42. Uh-huh. Two, four, six, eight. 50 bucks. Okay. Okay. That works. Thank you. Do you want these hangers back? Uh, those are just the metal ones, no. Okay. That's fine. You want to pull your car up? Sure, I will. <laughs> That'd be great. All right, so we made us an even hundred then. I like there it. There you go. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me pull up and I'll be out, okay. out of your hair. And like I said, I don't, I'm not sure we'll do another garage sale. I may post it on Marketplace, but I've got, we've got micro machines and still in the original packages. And I mean, I can leave you my number. I. Oh, if you'd like. Okay. I pay cash for all that kind of stuff. Okay. So yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, let me pull up and then I'll leave you my number. Thank you. There you go. I meant to grab that bunny too. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he said a dollar, right? Yeah. There you go. Alrighty. Uh, my name's Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Let me see. There you go. All right. Good luck with the rest of your sale. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm going to call you real quick just so you have mine. Okay. And, forget. and I will store it. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Morning. Morning. I swear I thought. I don't know if I had a dream about it or what, but I was like, he don't. He does, but he's like, I love them. No.
Sorry. Are you selling this whole bin here? Yeah, 10 bucks for the whole bin. Sure. I'll give you that and I'll keep looking around for a second. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. grab these two. Okay. Dollar piece. Alright, so two more dollars. Any more old toys or anything that I'm not seeing? Not that I know of. Okay. I'm sure I have things in the house. <laughs> I'm sure my son-in-law sure. has tons. It's just, they just moved into a house. I got you. Tell me what. He's got so much right stuff. On. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Pardon Every me. Day. Thank you, too. All right, everybody so we made it back home normally i like to have everything kind of laid out and i like to have done a little bit of research so i can kind of know what i'm talking about as far as values go but we're actually going out of town in a couple days and i'm just trying to make sure this video is done so it can upload while we're gone and uh, i don't miss a beat so i'll kind of just show you the stuff i got maybe make some guesses and uh, put some screenshots up uh, if anything has you know significant value or anything i feel pretty good about the stuff we did get so uh real quick let me show you what i picked up to resell at the first sale just paid a dollar for this nike hat don't really think it's worth anything but the people were nice and uh you know if you're nice to me i don't really like to leave empty-handed so i'm sure it's worth a few bucks at the second sale picked up a few cool things i got two of these clark griswold moose cups that he drinks his eggnog out of one of the greatest christmas movies ever so got two of these and paid a dollar a piece for them got this garmin nuvi 55 lmt i don't really buy gps as a lot anymore but this one was uh, in barely used condition and it is lifetime maps and traffic so for five bucks you know why not and then the last thing I got there was this little knockoff retro video game system for five bucks uh, it's not a Nintendo brand so it's probably not something I would sell I kind of used it as a uh, gateway to ask them if they had any, like any more video game stuff and they didn't but I still bought it anyway at the second sale I spent hundred and one dollars total and it kind of loaded up the Jeep and it was basically just because it was stuff that I really like buying like train stuff and old toys and everything and I got some really cool jackets as well um, I think a, a couple of these might actually be pretty good these were all basically two bucks a piece the first one there's nothing special there's no uh, logos or graphics it's made by Hal but you know it just kind of has that cool old uh, 70s look to it so I went ahead and got that one this one's really cool it's got this neat Pirelli patch on the front of it with these nice uh, vintage looking yellow stripes down the sleeves thought that was pretty cool a very nice uh, Marlboro Team Penske jacket with the big Marlboro Penske logo on the back of it it's made in the USA, looks a little bit older, so I'm sure that probably has some value. And then this one here is my absolute favorite. It's a 1980 uh, Trans Am jacket. Super cool look to it. It says Trans Am down the side of it. It says Turbo by Pontiac. It's got an Indy 500 pace car patch that says 1980, the big Trans Am patch. Um, I'm feeling really good about this one. I, I've just never seen a jacket like this. And I think it's pretty amazing looking. Um, as you saw, a bunch of random train stuff. I know that a lot of times, a lot of these aren't worth a lot, but I really enjoy selling this kind of thing. It's always good to look everyone up separately. Uh, some of them can be worth like 10, 20 bucks a piece. Uh, you can lot them up pretty easily. But there's a lot in here. I don't even I've not even counted them, but there's quite a few in boxes um, And then also quite a few outside of boxes. So this is the engine. Uh, these are usually worth a little bit more I wouldn't be surprised if that's worth 20 or 30 bucks. She was originally asking 10 for it But yeah, this whole box is filled with trains um, This is random odds and ends like little model kits and stuff like that in here I think a couple broken trains. There's some pieces of track in this one, some power supplies. I told her I, did, I didn't really care about the power supplies because she was asking 10 a piece for them, but looks like she just threw them in anyway. There's a blinking bridge, still brand new in the box it looks like. And then there were some old micro machines. There's some sun color changers. They were brand new in the package still, so that should do pretty well, I think. There's another set that the cards just come off of, but those are still unused. Unused micro machines from the 80s. Uh, looks like some HO scale cars, never used. There's a bag of what looks like HO scale cars and possibly a couple of micro machines in there as well. Another little package of them with a little building. So all really cool stuff right there. And over here, some random odds and ends like this old Coca-Cola visor with the flip down sunglasses. A bunch of these little Harley Davidson uh, Maisto 118th scale motorcycles. They're all from like 1997. So I figured that was old enough to take a shot on. There's like four of those, I think. A little Mickey Mouse train. It's broken, but I still thought it was cool for a dollar. 
thought this was pretty neat. It's a uh, 1980s carousel gumball machine. It's the junior model. And if you look here, it's kind of hard to see, but it is new old stock. It has the tag on it still. And there's the stand and everything. So this has never been used. I think, I think this should do pretty well. A lot of these from the 80s do well anyway. And the fact that this is new old stock, I think is definitely going to help sell it. And then we got some random stuff like some books, uh, some like Vietnam books and Pearl Harbor. And then all these cool old newspapers. Looks like they're all different and they're all sealed. So I don't really know what's all in here, but I saw some about like Lee Harvey Oswald and JFK and just some different things. I mean, these are all from Indianapolis. These are old, uh, uh, Indianapolis Stars from, from the 1960s. So the value may not be huge on something like this, but they're really cool. And if, I mean, nothing else, like I can sell these in the antique booth, but I'm kind of excited to rip those open and see what's in there. And then at this last sale, I got this tub of like um, Harry Potter action figures and then there were some cards mixed into it. I've never bought Harry Potter action figures before, but I thought they were kind of neat and she wasn't asking very much, so I got them. It's got quite a few characters down in there, plus this um, Hogwarts play set right here. There's one still in the package. There's Harry himself. We'll see what all this ends up being worth. I think most of them are about 20 years old. They're from like 2001 or 2002, something like that. So you never know. And then as far as the cards go, um, I knew that people would want to see a little bit of what was in there. So I did spend a little bit of time before I recorded this to kind of separate some of the good stuff out. It was mostly Harry Potter cards, but there were some Yu-Gi-Oh cards in there, some Digimon and some Duel Masters and like maybe a few other things. I kind of spot checked a few just to see if there was any value. And it looks like this one right here, this Dark Magician of Chaos. That This one with this exact number actually has recent comps for about 50 to 65 bucks, I think. So that's not bad at all. These are all in pretty good shape too, surprisingly. I'll kind of flip through and show you some of them. They're all from 1996 as far as the Yu-Gi-Oh cards go. I may have said Pokemon earlier, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh. Kind of show you what's here if you want to pause and zoom in. I doubt there's tons of value here, but I know that one card's already paid for everything, so it doesn't really matter. There's another page of them. So yeah, basically I, I just took everything that I thought was okay and put it in this binder just so I could show it a little bit easier. There's some more. And we're getting close to being done with the UVO cards now. This might be the last page here. Oh, no, there's there's uh, one more page. And then there were some Harry Potter like hologram cards. I did see that these two were actually pretty good. This unicorn card has recent comps for like 50 to 70 bucks on its own. So that mixed with the $50 card, feeling pretty good about this little random lot here. Caught by Snape seems to do pretty well too. I, I think I saw a sold comp on this one for like 30 or 35. Um, some of these Digimon holograms seem to do okay. These are from 1999. And then there's some regular Digimon cards. And then I think these are all Duel Masters cards, which these are all from uh, Wizards of the Coast. But yeah, and then a couple Neopets that were still in the package. So these are the ones that just quickly I thought might be worth looking up. But yeah, I think it was a no-brainer buying this and I think there's gonna be money to be made. So hopefully I'll be able to put some screenshots in there and uh, you know, we'll see if I did okay or not. But that's all I got for you this time. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya, bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap.